is the first chill day in a while actually. It's been nice, you know, we didn't go, we went diving a little bit, but that was just sort of scouting and not actually fishing, which was, which was kind of nice. I wish there was a little bit more visibility in these waters. And I'm hoping in the next couple of days, now that the hurricane has sort of settled, it's gonna, it's gonna get better. I'm a big fan of Key Cocker so far. It was very, it's very different to sort of Belize when we were in Belize city. This thing is like 1500 people living on the island in total. And it really, you can feel it, like people are very friendly, everyone wants to help you. And it's also very different from the Dominican, sort of, no one wants to sell you something constantly here. And, and people are just like genuinely friendly and want to help. I also have a bunch of vlogging material that still needs to be made. Well, like recording this now, I there's only one vlog out. I'm editing a second vlog and I think there's still material for three or four. It's hard when you're on holiday. Um, it's easier now that I'm on holiday actually compared to when I'm at home. There's a bunch of material that I really want to get out because I think it's pretty cool. We've got a lot of shots from like underwater and fishing that I really want to share with everyone. Ah, it looks super cool and the island is, is amazing. It's beautiful. So just some more visibility. That's all I really want. The thing I tend to not do while I vlog is actually share sort of professional things about my life. But it's it's been pretty cool the last couple months. When I get back to, to London, I have a, I think it's a six month contract, but also a more personal, professional. The company that I run with my partner Henning, Flip Normals, is actually doing really well. And we've actually started hiring people now. I think three contractors that we've hired to do work for us, so that's super exciting to me. That's also one of the reasons why I don't really have that much time to do vlogging anymore when I'm back home, just because there's a full-time job and a company to run on the side. I just come right here, yeah, but oh, yeah. so take it tomorrow. I just ran into some locals and we talked a little bit about the hurricane. I don't think I ever actually explained that to anyone here. Um, I think I mentioned that it was the Hurricane Earl that hit the island. Well, not just the island, just Belize in general. And it actually just missed us in the Dominican. And the destruction here has been crazy. If you see out here, like bridges and just bridges 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 as far down as you can see are just destroyed houses the roofs have just been torn off and people are still repairing stuff it's i mean the effort to repair things have been amazing but it was it was quite strange arriving in a country that just looked completely war-torn sort of like when i've made vlogs i've always debated with myself what to, what to fill the vlogs with you know and for me, it's always I've all, I feel like I've always had this goal where it's like it's always it's always gonna be something important. There's always gonna be something actually happening. So there's always gonna be some event happening for me to make a vlog. And but I think I don't know, like making these vlogs now, especially today when nothing is is really going on. It feels like vlogs could just exist to just share things from your everyday life as well, which I think personally could be pretty pretty interesting. But it's like. A little bit weird to, to to make a vlog which is about nothing you know like it's about nothing but you're just talking anyway so this is officially just an update vlog where actually nothing really happens <laughs> 